EFT Emotional Freedom Technique By using this technique you must agree to take full responsibility for your own well-being. EFT is not meant to replace appropriate medical treatment or mental health therapy. So what is EFT? EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. EFT is a gentle tapping technique where you tap on specific points on the body while tuning into an emotional issue that has been causing a disturbance in the body's energy system. This disturbance is called negative emotions. Negative meaning something uncomfortable and emotion meaning energy in motion. So by tapping these points that are derived from the ancient art of acupuncture and acupressure while tuned into a past emotional issue, balance in the energy system can be restored, bringing with it relief from physical and psychological problems. Let's start with the basic instructions for applying EFT. And if you have not received the EFT instructions leaflet with this recording, you can download it for free at www.walkingtall-hypnotherapy.com. So let us begin with the tapping points. The first point is called the karate chop point and it is located on the side of either hand where the little finger is and just as it is called it is the fleshy side of the hand used in karate now what I would like you to do is begin tapping this point with the index and forefinger of the opposite hand you may use either hand there is no wrong way to do this as it is a very forgiving technique Tap this point at least seven times and each of the following other points. The next point is the eyebrow point and this is located on the inside edge of the eyebrow, close to the bridge of the nose. Again, either side will do, whatever feels right or comfortable for you. Tapping this point with the index and forefinger seven times. The next point is the side of the eye. This point is located on the bone on the outside edge of the eye socket. Tapping this point again with the same two fingers seven times. The next point is under the eye. Again this is on the bone on the underside of the eye socket. Tapping again seven times with the same two fingers. Next we have under the nose. This point is under the nose between the nose and the top lip. Again tapping here seven times. Now moving on to the chin point. This is located in the dip between the lower lip and the chin. Tap here seven times also. The next point is the collarbone point. To find this point run your finger from your chin down your neck to about where a man ties a necktie and you will notice a V where both collarbones meet. Now from the center of this V run your finger up either side until you notice where the bone angles off towards either shoulder and it is at the tip of the bone where it angles off on either side. This is where to tap. This is what we call the collarbone point. Tap here seven times. Next I would like you to pat under your arm on either side with the palm of your hand along the line where a lady's bra strap would be. Pat here seven times. This is called the underarm point. And the last point is located on top of the head, around where a girl will have a hairband cross her head. 
pat here with the palm of your hand seven times. Now if you need to go back over this section to familiarize yourself with the points before moving on, please do so now. Let's begin your obsessive compulsive disorder relief session now. I would like you to think of a time you had irrational thoughts recently. Maybe at a time when you felt you didn't complete a routine or a ritual. Thoughts that maybe something terrible would happen. So as you bring that memory to mind, now, I would like you to measure that memory of those thoughts on a scale of 0 to 10 of emotional intensity. What number just pops to mind? That number popping to mind because the storehouse of your emotions is the same place that those thoughts, feelings and memories come from. Your unconscious mind and that same part that stores this information will measure that emotional intensity from 0 to 10 when you think of that memory. Okay, you have that memory in mind and a number from 0 to 10 of bad feeling. Very good. So let's start tapping on the karate chop point while saying after me, even though I have this number of bad feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, continuing to tap on the karate chop point, even though I have this number of bad feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. And just one more time, even though I have this number of bad feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. All right, now start tapping the eyebrow point while saying the reminder phrase, bad feeling. Side of the eye, bad feeling. Under the eye bad feeling. Under the nose, bad feeling. Chin point, bad feeling. Collarbone point, bad feeling. Under the arm, bad feeling. And top of the head, bad feeling. Now take a deep breath, filling your lungs and release that now. And as that happens, just bring that memory of those irrational thoughts to mind and measure again from 0 to 10 of bad feelings remaining. Now if you find your mind wandering to different thoughts or memories, as we did the first round of EFT, I would like you to start this session again staying focused on only one issue at a time, maybe even making a note of what other issues came to mind, so you can work on them later. All right, assuming you are focused on that issue, what number comes to mind attached to those bad feelings of that past memory of those thoughts? Okay. Begin tapping on the karate chop point again while saying after me, even though I have this remaining bad feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, even though I have this remaining bad feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. One more time, even though I have this remaining bad feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. 
and start tapping the eyebrow point while saying this reminder phrase, remaining bad feeling. Side of the eye, remaining bad feeling. Under the eye, remaining bad feeling. Under the nose, remaining bad feeling. Chin point, remaining bad feeling. Collarbone point, remaining bad feeling. Under the arm, remaining bad feeling. And top of the head, remaining bad feeling. Very good. Now take a deep breath, filling your lungs once again and release that now. And as you do that, noticing as you bring that memory, those thoughts to mind, noticing if any feelings are within your body. And as you bring that memory, those thoughts to mind again, noticing the changes in you now. How you feel, measuring zero to 10 again. And should there be a little left now, notice where that may be in your body. Just noticing where that may be in your body. And allow your eyes to close and go inside following that feeling noticing where you feel that now placing your attention on that feeling as you go inside and place your attention there now on that feeling and if there is no feeling attached to those thoughts, I would like you to just imagine. Just imagine maybe noticing if it has a color. And if it has a color, it must have a shape. Or perhaps you notice a shape first. And if you notice a shape, it must have a color. What color is that shape? And what shape is the color? Maybe the outline is a different color to the body of the shape. Or maybe the shape is all the one color. Or perhaps it's a mixture of colors. I don't know. What comes to mind, but you can notice now whatever color and shape comes to mind as you listen to me. That's right. Okay, that color coming to mind, that shape coming to mind. All right, so just allow your eyes to open and as you do that, begin tapping on the karate chop point while saying after me, so what if I still have that color and shape of those feelings? I accept that I am okay. And again, so what? If I still have that color and shape of those thoughts, I accept that I'm okay. And one more time, so what? If I still have that color and shape of those thoughts, I accept that I am okay. Now begin tapping on the eyebrow point and each other point while saying the reminder phrase, that color and shape side of the eye, that color and shape, under the eye, that color and shape, under the nose, that color and shape, chin point, that color and shape, collarbone, 
that color and shape under the arm that color and shape and finally the top of the head that color and shape take another deep breath in filling your lungs and then letting all that go now checking once more by bringing that issue to mind and measure once more 0 to 10 of intensity of feelings connected to those thoughts and if you have any remaining number pop to mind just continue on to the next section for mopping up those fragments not cleared yet and if you are at zero you can return to the beginning of this session and eliminate any other irrational thoughts if you need to.